Let's find the derivative of a function. Let's look at three cases. First, we have the power rule for derivatives. In order to find the derivative of x to the nth power, we take the exponent and write it out in front. Then we take the exponent and lower it by 1, n minus 1. That's the derivative using the power rule. Second, the derivative of sines and cosines. The derivative of sine with respect to x is cosine of x. However, the derivative of the cosine of x is negative the sine of x. Third situation, we're looking for the instantaneous velocity function v, and that's given by the derivative of a position function. So if we have an equation for the position, we take the derivative of it, we get the velocity. So, given f of x equals the fifth root of x to the fourth at x equals 32, let's find the derivative. So it's easier if we rewrite this in a more convenient form, x to the four-fifths. Notice the index 5 is always the denominator of the exponent. So we're going to use our power rule, four-fifths four times x, and we lower this by 1, four-fifths minus 1 equals negative one-fifth. Remember that negative exponents means we write it in the denominator. So we can write this as 4 over 5x to the 1 fifth. If we want to replace x with 32, then we can find the derivative when x is equal to 32. 32 to the 1 fifth, remember, is 2. So we're left with 2 fifths as a derivative at 32. Suppose we have f of x equals 2 thirds cosine of x to take the derivative. We take the constant, 2 thirds, out in front. Take the root of the cosine of x is negative the sine of x. And we put the negative in. And that gives us the derivative. Thirdly, what we want to do is to find the derivative of the velocity function for s of x equal 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1. So our velocity function will be equal to 3 times 4 is 12x squared plus 2 times 2 is 4x, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So if we're interested at x equal to 3, velocity of 3, we replace x with 3. 3 squared is 9, so we have 108 plus 12 gives us 120, will be our velocity at x equal to 3. Now the speed function is the absolute value of the velocity, so the absolute value of 120 would in fact be just 120 derivatives.